first hard fact of the day is something that so many of you are talking about. Yesterday's I beg to differ semi-final. I want to start by saying bravo to both debaters. It was one of the best debates we have witnessed here on I beg to differ. These debates are difficult for all of us who watch them because we don't really want any of the kids to walk away. Not a winner. Personally, because I get to interact with all of these kids in person, every episode is hard for me. Because every, episode's, every episode ends with me saying goodbye to a brilliant child that I've spent a lot of time with. I hope that in all our conversations, we can always remember that in every debate, there are two children, both of whom are hearing, seeing, and reading everything that we say. But I'm also listening, Lagos. I listen to you. I listen to you because I beg to differ wouldn't be where it is without you. Yesterday, there was a strong outpouring from many of you about the judge's decision. A stronger reaction than we have ever seen before. It would not be proper for me to not acknowledge it. It would also not have been proper for me and the team not to look closely at what you are saying and review the events of the debate. I know that you spoke out because you care about I beg to differ and you are deeply invested and I thank you for that. You care about I beg to differ because of these children but you also care about I beg to differ because of the rules and the process. And part of that process is that the judge's decision is final. And we have stuck to that principle from day one in both tournaments so far. I have never overruled any judgment, even when I have disagreed very strongly with the judges. I have kept to that principle to protect, I beg to differ, from any accusation of bias from me. I have heard your outpouring and I understand your pain. And while the judge's decision is final, the listener's opinion is supreme. After all, one million Lagosians cannot be wrong. And that is why, on behalf of the team, I've decided that Ramadan's journey cannot end where it ended yesterday. At the end of this year, there will be a tournament of champions. The format of the tournament of champions brings back all the winners from past tournaments and some of the first runners up. The prize money for that, for that tournament of champions is 2 million naira. I have decided that on the strength of your outpouring for Ramadan and based on my personal opinion, he has earned a place in the Tournament of Champions. I've already reached out to his parents, offering him an invitation, and they have graciously accepted. We have also learned specific lessons about judging, which we will be implementing going forward. In itself, there's nothing wrong with a sponsor providing judges for a specific episode. In a lot of TV game shows, we see sponsored tasks where the sponsor provides the task and does the judging. And the topics for both semi-final matches were provided by our headline sponsor as well as the judges. However, going forward, no matter what, we will always have some of our team of regular judges participating in sponsored matches. Once again, I want to thank every one of you, each and every one of you who spoke up with your opinions while extending to me and the I Beg to Differ tournament, the benefit of doubt, which we have worked very hard since last year 
to earn from you. I think yesterday is a testament to the very high standard of judging that we have set. Debate after debate in the two editions. And it's also proof that you have paid close attention to that high standard. Once again, thank you.